is almost Halloween and uh, since um, it became some sort of thing on my channel to post um, prop building Halloween videos together with Paul at that time of year, we thought, well, why not do another one? And by the way, there is a playlist um, I added to the channel that you can check out with all the prop builds um, that Paul has made. Paul, I asked you a couple of days or weeks ago if you could give us another little secret of uh, prop making and uh, you came up with something pretty cool. Yes, because we were thinking about making masks, Halloween masks, and then we found you get those really nice off the internet, real cheap. So, here's a trick I developed myself. Uh, you can use it to make a funny Halloween prop, and you can also use it to make a thing of beauty. And without any change, you can keep it for years and use it every day if you want. It's a durable thing, it's also prop making. So today we're in the magic department of Fion Galactic Space Yards and we're going to make the magic book. We're going to make a leather-bound book with a nice, uh, beautiful cover, in shaped cover, with very, very simple ways of making it. Could you use this technique also for other things? Let's say like, for example, when you have like a, a plastic bowl for Halloween where you put candy in or something? You could, but in a slightly different way. Yes, you can use essentially the same technique for making different things. I used it for making a leather-covered bow for shooting arrows, uh, knife handles, different things. Yes, you can use it for other things too. Sounds pretty interesting. Let's have a look what we need. In this case, we can make something funny or we can make an object of beauty which you can keep for years, it's all the same thing. We don't need much, we need some book. We need some window cleaning leather, some contact glue and some wax, furniture wax. That's the essential. We need some stuff to cut with, cutters, scissors. Now as decoration elements in this case, can be and can he 3D printed some beautiful things. You can use some stick on letters. Uh, you can, you don't need that. You can use things like just cardboard, cut something out that you want, depends on what you want to have on there. Apart from the basic trick, I'm going to do some additional tricks. There's some stuff you can do with strings. Uh, there's some stuff that you can do with additional leather. I got some recuperation from boots and a pair of motorcycle pants. Uh, I cut some covers to add to the book. You don't absolutely need to do that, but it avoids you getting drips of glue onto your book, or in this case, our book has some interior stuff which makes it difficult to fold the leather over. So I'll do the covers and then stick them on. You don't have to do it, or you can do that, the same thing with uh, a thick cardboard, it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you have. Important is when you buy your leather, it needs to be the real leather. What they call here chamois leather, the thing is sold to clean windows with. The fake will not work. The real one stretches 3D and the fake one doesn't. You can do beautiful things with the fake one too, but not this. First, we're gonna do our layout. Um, in this case, I'm gonna give a centimeter and a half of a margin. Now, this is our playing surface. And with Ken, we decided we're going to have this one on here. We're gonna have an additional trick up here afterwards. And back here on this thing, we're gonna make a little thing with strings. In this case, I'm gonna give myself a centimeter and a half margin. I mean, it could be anything that you want to see afterwards. We want to know the middle, which is 14 and a half, which is 7 to 5. This is the one we want to have on here. We slap that on with any glue that will hold it. In this case, not very important. Is it straight? Let's see, yeah. We want to do something nice here. I found some string that I like. I like this one because it's got a, a shape to it. You can use metal wire, you can use string, you can use some thin leftover moldings, or in fact any shape that you like. Uh, look at toys. 
you might find a lot of nice things in toys. And the material itself is not important. It works. Uh, don't use hot glue because it's got a big volume to itself. So we glued our little decor in 3D on there and now we come to the actual part. We're going to make a piece of leather, pretty easy, a little bit bigger than our book. Let's start with this one. We take our pot axe mm. and now we go for the stinky glue. And we put it on, important, everywhere. Don't miss out on any, any spot. So, once we have this done, we put it away, it'll dry a little bit. This one might have gotten some drops and we turned around because now there's one moment where we will work clean. We watch not to have any glue on the beauty side because it, it makes, you can't remove it, it makes stains. It keeps the wax later on from going in there. Don't go quite super excessive on it. I mean, you can go a bit excessive, but not super excessive because it might seep through. What you're seeing now is mostly the only part where's of the job where you try to be a bit careful. Anything else is mostly playtime. And now for the magic moment. We take our glued items. They need to be dry to the touch, meaning the the stuff doesn't really stick to your fingers anymore when you touch it. And we put this on there, overlapping a bit without pressing in the beginning. We start out of the middle and rub it. And yeah, this you do with feeling. That's the most thing. It's not skill so much. Start out of the middle. Do it crosswise and then go over to the sides. And now, for a very long time, you rub it with how, how strongly you will feel. You just rub it in. Transport wrapping. And we press it in with that. Depending on how many details you do, you might even press it uh, and keep it with like a C-clamp. Take a piece of cardboard for instance to see if I can make the, the edges in here. Okay, now we just cut off this little piece back here for another trick to which we will come back later. The nice thing about putt eggs is it will hold really well. You can glue shoes with But at the same time, you can remove it with violence. It, it will work. You can always pry it off. We will, of course, have to remove a bit of the corners. What I do, I put scissors on in 45 degrees, sort of, and take the corner off like this. This is the same thing as that, only in a tube. 
Night better for the small work. Do this right away. We we pull this quite a bit so it stretches a bit, makes nicer edges. Okay, now we take furniture wax. I take the liquid sort. Uh, in this case, I will do first a transparent one. But you got all the tainted ones from very dark, uh, reddish brown, whatever you like. Um, what I wouldn't do is use spray wax. It will do if you have nothing else but it doesn't give you very good results and not very lasting results. Now what we do, we shake it, don't break it, ah. we slap it on there and we really impregnate the whole thing, soak it in. In case of doubt, add more wax which I will do actually. And now you can already see that the details start coming out much more. Well, this is drying and this might take quite a while. We already make something for the back of the book, the spine. And we have this here. We mark it. This is, this is a piece of real leather I cut off. I think this comes off a couch. Um, not sure. I think it does. Anyhow, anything will do. You can also do that in cardboard and cloth. You could do it in the same with cardboard and the same trigger that. Okay, let's say the glue's dry enough. We'll see if it holds on the wax. If not, we got other tricks. But in order to add something, we got this much overlap, we got some upholstery nails, which always look cool. And we'll put these in here. Knock them through. You could use thumbtacks, they're not as, not as reliable and also make, don't make the like round head, but you don't need it. Um, you can also just, since this is holding anyhow, Now we're gonna add some effects. We got some dark brown furniture wax. This we're gonna use a little bit more careful cause we're not yet sure how, how it's going to play exactly. And we do the edge also a bit, huh? Okay, we do one additional trick. We had can make this little sign, but I thought it was too fine to come out with the letter. We wouldn't be able to read hotel and the... So, there's an additional thing we can do. We put it on there, we left our little space. We sort of look that it's straight. I think that's it, and now what we do is we cut, we use this template to cut. It, we could just uh, bash it on there on top, but cutting the leather away 
gives an additional little fine touch. There goes your beautiful agenda. Now we go wamp and wamp, and it's fairly well centered. There's a whole lot of other stuff we could do, and I can give you a few ideas of while we wait. We could take something that we have, for instance, here I got some metal parts. We could add that to it. We could add something which looks like we have to use a key. Um, if you're, you work more intricate, you could do something like this, which looks like you need hinges to open it. Um, any interesting piece might do. But we have a magic book. Hey, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Hollywood Tower Hotel. I'm sorry, we are out of vacancy. When will we? Let me check. I think that you're in luck. Something just opened up.